Let's become an amazing gardener by adding a custom crop to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom crop block to the game. So this would be, well, a new block that can basically grow our cucumbers. And for this, we're going to open the mod blocks class. And what we're going to need is we're actually going to need a custom class as well. So in the custom package, right click new Java class called the cucumber plant block. And this will extend the crop block class. So there you go. Let's hover over this create constructor matching super. And if the properties here annoy you, you can click on them, press shift F6, and then it basically already suggests the name properties. If we middle mouse button click on the crop block class, you can see that there is some, well, some things are already determined like the max age here. We have an integer property called age. So now we're once again dealing with some block state properties and they are actually kind of, well, very important here for specifically the crops because some crops have the age of seven. However, others have, well, other ages basically. So if we middle mouse button click on this again, we can see where it is, has been used. For example, it is also used in the beetroot block. We have the carrot block, the potato block. And if we look in the beetroot block, for example, there the age property is actually three in this case. So that's very important that you can have different ages. If we basically keep it like this, then our cucumber block has the age seven. Now this is in our case, not what we want. So what we're gonna have here is a public static final integer property, making sure that we choose the net micro world one. And this is called age. This is going to be equal to the block state properties dot age underscore five. Now, if we actually take a look at this, so middle mouse button, click on this, you can see some integer properties are already determined. However, if, you know, we have, for example, have a plant that has maybe age, I don't know, nine, then you could also just do this. So you can say integer property dot create. The name should definitely be age. And then minimum, maximum, and that's pretty much all that you have to do there. So fairly straightforward, all things considered. Then what's also very important is that we need to return the get max age right here. And this has to be, well, the max age in this case, five. So this is always this one right here. So we have six different stages, zero through five, and then five is the max age. And then another method that we have to overwrite, and that is the get a base seed ID. Now, what I'm going to do here is that I'm actually going to make a an error appear because I actually want to, well, not forget this basically, because here we have to create a seeds item that we, of course, have to return here. But because this is not yet created, well, we can't return it just yet, but we're going to do this in just a moment. Overall, this should pretty much be all that we need to do for the actual block class. Now, in our mod blocks class here, we can now create the actual plant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over the winter window. That's going to be fine. And this is going to be the cucumber underscore plant. And then same here, cucumber underscore plant. Now, what is very important, though, is that this actually should not be the register block method, but the register block without block item method. So this one right here. And then, of course, we don't need the actual creative mode tab. And this is not a glass block, but a cucumber plant block. And we're going to copy from the wheat right here. There you go from blocks wheat and then no other stuff instead of the, you know, the no occlusion that should be added. Otherwise, no other well things need to be added to the block behavior properties. And then we only really need to set up the render layer and then we can proceed to the item. So the block is pretty much done after we've gone into the uh, client setup right here. And then we're just going to call, let's just copy over the winter window once again, making this the cucumber plant. And then instead of translucent, this is once again the cutout. And then the actual item or the actual block will be displayed properly. Then the block is pretty much done. The only thing that we now need is the seeds because, of course, we've created this without a block item because the actual well, cucumber plant, there shouldn't be a block in your inventory that you can set down. So that's the general idea why we basically have this without a block item. And then in our mod items class, we can copy over the bow and we're going to make the cucumber underscore seeds. And then same here, cucumber underscore seeds. And this is going to be a, an item name block item. That's very important. The first parameter here being the mod blocks dot cucumber plant dot get. And then here, we actually don't want any durability here. And then this should be fine. Now, why is this an item name block item? Well, you can either make a normal block item or an item name block item. The item name block item then takes this name here for the translation. So 
when we add the translation in just a moment in the en underscore us json file what we then want to do is we want to do item dot tutorial mod dot cucumber seeds instead of having the same name right here and the reason why this might be interesting or important is that when you have something like the uh, what am i looking at mod where you can actually see what block you're looking at we want to translate this cucumber plant as well that's why we're using the item name block item because they're not the same name here in the item like we can now return the mod items dot cucumber seeds dot get and now the actual class here is completely done so we can close this and then here we're also completely done so now it is only up to the json files let's add the translation first because that usually is the well more interesting or let's say the more the easier thing yeah there you go so we have the item tutorial mod cucumber seeds and then at the bottom we're also going to add the actual translation for the blocks okay so then we're going to copy over the actual block states json file and this is going to be very similar to well things we've already seen right with the age block states property here so once again the block state property is kind of an integral part in this case of the crops block and you can see that we're going from age 0 to 5, and then we're just pointing to different block models. So this should be fairly straightforward after we've basically seen, well, how it works with the, you know, with other block state properties. We're just going to copy over the six different models here, and they, as you can see, just point to different crop textures. Here, interestingly enough, the parent is block slash crop, and the texture here is crop. So that's pretty much all that there is to it for the block model files when it comes to the item model files, we of course only want the item model file for the actual seeds as the cucumber seeds is, well, the only item that we've basically added here. And this is just a normal item model file, nothing too crazy. All of those files are of course available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gist as well. And then when it comes to the textures, they're of course also available and also just, you know, the six textures for the block. And then we also have just the cucumber seeds texture right here. And that would pretty much be all of it. Now, in theory, the block has been added and the seeds have been added, so everything should work. The only thing that would not work is the loot table. And for this, we actually want to take a look at something that's, that's very interesting. And that is once again going down to the external libraries all the way to client extra 118.1 right here to the data folder, Minecraft loot tables, blocks. And then inside of here, we want to search for the wheat loot table. And this is once again, of course, the external libraries, an incredibly good resource for you to take a look at how vanilla does basically everything. And inside of here, we're going to open this and you can see we actually have a condition here that a certain age has to be met. So in theory, what we can do is we can copy this JSON file and then change a bunch of stuff in here. And then it should immediately work for our um, actual crop as well. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to copy this control C and then all the way up back into our blocks uh, loot tables folder and this is of course going to be the cucumber underscore plant very important this is the name of the actual the block actually and then here of course this age needs to be your max age so this needs to be five and then here it needs to be five as well so if you change your age then you have to change it here as well very important then the next thing of course you need to change the names here so this is now we're basically taking a look at the weed block of course we don't have a weed block we have tutorial mod colon cucumber underscore plant and then this has to be done a second time down here for the block so both where the block condition basically is being asked for you have to specify the cucumber plant and then when you drop something so here you can see that we're dropping weed here we actually want to drop the cucumber so this is just the actual produce let's say and then here we drop weed seeds and here we drop weed seeds so here we actually want to uh, drop the cucumber underscore seeds and then we're just going to copy this again. So I'm just going to select this control C and then control V right here. And this should be all of the stuff that we need to change. Be wary that you also change the mod ID. Otherwise, of course, it's not going to work. But this should be pretty much all that we need to do, making sure that the age here is the correct age. And then it should all work. You can, of course, always take a look at the external libraries. Highly suggest this. This is a one of the best resources, basically, that you have at hand. But otherwise, this is actually all that we need to add. So... Let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. And as you can see, the cucumber seeds have been successfully added to the game. So let's see if I can actually plant them. And there you go, they are planted. And let's just try one of them with bone meal. There you go. And there are the cucumbers. Let's also see if I actually increase the random tick speed right here. Does this also work? Do they grow on their own? 
and just a moment there you go they're growing on their own and there they are max age is just like you would expect them to and then if i go into survival mode that's very important for basically seeing whether or not they break and there you go they break exactly like you would expect them to and then we can basically plant some more and enjoy a nice cucumber so that's pretty cool right and that is already it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one i also want to thank all of my lovely patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel it is very much appreciated and special golden thanks go out to mc arctic for actually supporting me with the gold block tier and i'll see you in the next tutorial so yeah